I'm Erica. And I'm Brian. And this is your Rampage News Report. Basketball? Basketball. Last weekend, both the boys and girls went 2-1 and one in the ERA tournament. And last Tuesday, both teams also dominated Valley View. And I asked some players what they thought the tournament was like. All right, Cordell, what can you take away from this weekend's tournament appearance? Oh, well, we played pretty well, and if we apply what we did this week into the next few games, we should win. And uh, if we keep on the way we're going, we should win way more games than we did last year. I think we could take away that what we need to do is be getting better for the rest of the year and uh, coming out with a win in the tournament, I believe, what we're, what we're going to be able to do here is uh, come up to this tournament, we're going to play this tournament like we're supposed to, play hard, and I believe we can win this one as well. Talk first and then hand it to you. Okay, so I, I, are you done? <laughs> trying to talk. It's rolling. So after a successful tournament appearance, what can you guys take away from that? That um, we just keep on working as a team and work together, and hopefully it will bring a lot of su success to our team. And Coach Gathra added in a few words after we played the three games, and he was really proud of us, and he said that if we keep playing like that, then we'll win more games and that we need to treat them as practices and get better and keep on working on transition and get the ball to Brittany, basically, and we'll be good. Thank you. It's a very lengthy answer. Don't eat that. Five-second rule. Check out the five-second rule segment with Danny. Visualize this. Imagine yourself sitting at lunch, eating a, Not right now. In a really good meal. You start eating and food drops to the floor. What do you do? Do you pick it up? Do you eat it? Or do you throw it in the trash? Now, I know some of you out there go with what? the five second rule. Now, is Are this you? five second rule safe? Can we pick it up, food from the floor, and eat it before five seconds. I went around and asked some students if they followed the five second rule. Here's what they had to say. Do you know what the five second rule is? Um, the five second rule is when you drop a piece of food on the ground and whether or not you can still eat it and after five seconds. Do you follow the five second rule? Yes, definitely. No. Yes. Nope. Food is food. No. Why is that? because it helps build up immunities. I mean, you gotta have some bacteria in your life or you're going to be sick and die. Because I don't trust the school floor. Um, because I watched a Mythbusters over the five second rule and they proved that it is not harmless at all. Because no matter what the temperature is, the food can get infected and it's not always good. Well, obviously, because it's a rule, germs have to wait five seconds. Because germs, as soon as it touches the floor, the germs are already on it. You're right, because instantaneously, there are about enough bacteria getting on it to make you sick. I believe so, yes. There was a possibility to get someone off beforehand. Oh, that's interesting. Did you know that it's a rule and that the germs have to wait five seconds? <laughs> wow. Hey, I'm probably healthier than you. Brian, do you know how to spell door? N-O-P-E. No, that's not how you spell it. Let's check out Lindsay's segment for UIL. With Christmas break coming up, the UIL teams have been working fast and furiously preparing for upcoming meets in January. Here's what the teams have been up to. What UIL contest do you coach? This year I'm coaching mathematics and, and calculator contest. I have done number since in the past. Literary criticism, spelling, the four journalism, events, um, sometimes some of the other business or writing events. I coach UIL science. What contest are you doing for UIL? Uh, I'm doing mathematics. Spelling. I'm doing UIL calculators. I'm in poetry. Math and science. 
How many years have you been doing that? Uh, this is my first year. Since sixth grade. Since I was a freshman. I started my freshman year, junior year, so three years. Uh, math for two years and science for three. What do you have your students working on to prepare for meets? We do a lot of practice tests because the best way to get kids prepared is to see the kinds of problems they're going to see over and over. Well, every day during uh, the UIL prep period, we work on in literary criticism, reading the novel, the poems, the, the plays, and working on terms. The spelling kids work on their spelling lists and vocabulary lists every day. We uh, go through old tests and answer them and do problem sets together to try and prepare. How do you think your students will do at district? I mean, I'm hopeful. I think they're going to do well. I think my teams will do fine this year. We uh, went to regionals last year with Cody, and I think that we can probably do that again this year. From the Smithleets who are memorizing their cards, to the Scoopinators who are talking to walls, good luck to all the UIL teams competing in upcoming meets and at district. Remember, do or do not, there is no try. Back to you guys in the studio. Facebook. Oh, dang it, Cade. Let's check out the question of the week with Autumn and Erica. This week's question of the week is what's your best Facebook picture post? Rivalry in the library this Wednesday between OU and a and fans. <laughs> We're here waiting for Miss Richardson. Tanner Rankin here did a, a good little prank on her with this OU stuff. Yeah, buddy. Hey, Dan, the weatherman here uh, with your weather report. Um, I've got some very bad news. I think Stephen is dead, my zebra. He uh, apparently ate some bad oats. I don't know. I'm not for sure about that either. Uh, you know, I'm kind of down. On a positive note, I have picked up a side gig. I think I'm going to drive a bus uh, this next Wednesday. I'm going to go Christmas Carol or something. Take some kids around, make some people happy. I don't know. It's going to be cool. Um, no, literally, like, cool. Like, you know, the weather. I'm, you know, the weatherman. Anyways, uh, you know, this week it's going to be 70s. Next week it's supposed to be 50s. And the next week's who really cares because we have two and a half days of school left and uh, we're ready to get out. So uh, with that being said, I'm also ready to get out of here. Merry Christmas. Where the man damn. In miscellaneous news, the Love of the Game tournament is this week. The senior team got second place, and the junior team got fourth place at the state FFA meet. There's also a choir at the parade tonight in Sherman and the nursing homes next Wednesday. Exemptions being told next week as well. This has been the conclusion of your Rampage News Report.